Good morning, Carvini. It's RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. I have here a book, Phillies Legends, Legends of the Phillies, Philadelphia Phillies. Literally, it's just a book made, um, I think, to get people who are big Phillies fans to buy it because there's nothing particularly special about it. Just has bios of some of the better Phillies players. Now, I consider this a Phillies or part of my Mike Schmidt collection, okay? And you might think to yourself that, well, any Phillies book you would consider part of your Mike Schmidt collection. Well, that is not true because I have here another book. Um, one of these books you'll find at Barnes & Nobles about every topic. You know, the I, I can't remember what, what the publishing house that does this. What is it? Um, I don't know if you can figure that out. Let me know. Arcadia Publishing. They have this on every um, city in the world, practically. All the different historical things. They started doing all the baseball teams and whatnot. This is all about the Phillies, but I don't, cons I don't consider this part of my Mike Schmidt collection because Mike is not on the cover. And that's what I consider a book that belongs in my what I call my Mike Schmidt covers. If, if Mike Schmidt collection, if he made the cover or anywhere on the binder of the book, then I will consider it part of a Mike Schmidt collection. But it is if it is just a book about the Phillies and he is not on the cover, I do not consider that part of my collection. So that is my random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Today's random baseball item of the day. I picked this up off the bay to add to one of my ongoing PSA set registers. And it's kind of an update of my goals too, but not really because it's been so long. But 1982 Kmart, the Hank Aaron card in a PSA 10. So, uh, to update everybody who may not know, I'm trying to put together an entire PSA 10 run, which is probably doubtful, of this classic box set, the 1982 Kmart, which, again, they made billions of those box sets, so they're readily available for a dollar in most flea markets, the Kmart set. And I'm trying to put together all 44 cards in a PSA 10, which is probably impossible because eventually I'm going to have to um, literally buy a set and send off all the other ones I don't have to, KB, to, to PSA. So that's my stack of cards. I believe I'm at 17, so I'm not even halfway done. And every one so far is a 10, but... Uh, you know, I, I, they're, they're becoming harder and harder to find on eBay. I'd rather buy them from the Bay than to buy a card, send it in, hope it gets a 10. Because I really want to get 10s for all these. They're not that expensive, but the, not all of them are slab. Not all of them are available. So I'm, I, I'm probably, like I said, I'm going to buy a box set one of these days and pull out all the cards I need and send it into PSA and just hope for the best. That's how I'll end up the set eventually. But that Hank Aaron one was the latest one to my set register so uh today's trivia question um nice little prize another card from the tops archives box i opened the 2017 tops archives this is the Derek jeter retrospect ret retrospective card from 2001 reprint from the 2015 2017 tops archives product it's got his little they made a little DJ logo up there, if you see it. It kind of looks like a home plate. Uh, the Tops 50 Years was what was uh, on all the 2001 card sets. And you got Derek Jeter there. It's exact reprint of his 2001 card with the Derek Jeter logo added. And the trivia question to get that card is, like I'm doing all week, or you know, like I've been doing all week, is a question about postseason play. That's Derek Jeter up there. So my question to you regarding Derek Jeter and, and postseason play is, I think Derek Jeter's a little underrated in his, um, what do I want to say? A little underrated in consideration how great a hitter he was. And I'll say this because if you look at the career hits leader, Derek Jeter is number six all time. In the entire history of the baseball, he has the sixth most hits. 
Now you might want to say, well, shoot, he played forever. Well, Brooks Robin played forever. Brooks Robin doesn't crack. I don't think he's he's not up there anywhere near. He, he didn't get 3,000 hits, Brooks. Uh, he might be up there near the top 100, top 50 maybe, but he ain't number six. Uh, you know, some of your other legendary players, the only um, the only person in the top 10 now who's a, a current player, believe it or not, Mr. Pujols is actually number 10 at the moment. So, um, but Derek Jeter is a, was a phenomenal hitter, let it be said. And so my question to you regarding Derek Jeter and hitting and postseason play is, look up for me, uh, in all the World Series Derek Jeter played in, now, he has five rings, but he appeared in more than five World Series. So, in all of the World Series in which Derek Jeter played, how many career hits did he have in World Series play? So throw me an email with that answer. I'll include my uh, email in the description below along with repeating the question. You've got today and tomorrow to answer, and we'll randomly pick a drawing winner on Sunday, all right? There you have it. So today, I'm going to show off is in keeping with what I've been doing all week, is highlighting a boxed set from a, a, a long forgotten store uh, back in the mid to mid, the Jack Wonks Junk Wax era of the 80s. Uh, mid 80s and early 90s and this one comes from a store called Ames. Ames uh, is kind of like a smaller Kmart or you know Gabe's today or just a little um, small Walmart kind of shopping shopping store had everything. This one's from 1989. They did the 2020 Club. Um, they had to do 2020 because there probably weren't enough people to do the 3030 club. So 2020 is 20 steals and 20 home runs in the same season. Now, what I like about Ames, what Ames did in this one is they would take the player. I'll just use the first one, Jesse Barfield. These happen to be in alphabetical order. But they would do the career stats, and in the back, they would bold out the year in which he uh, had a 2020 season. So he had 22 stolen bases and 27 home runs that year to make this. And what's great about this is there's some players you know do it like all the time and they'll have multiple years. So, so Kevin Bass had one. Don Baylor, tick out Don Baylor. Don Baylor had, what, four 2020 campaigns. Never had a 30-30 year. Came close. Never had a 30-30 year. Let's see, let's go through all these guys and see what they did. George Bell had one. Barry Bonds would have a 40-40 year later on. Phil Bradley, good Lord for the Phillies. Was, this is what it was with the Mariners. He had one. Ellis Burks. Jose Canseco. There you go. Jose Canseco famously had his 40-40 year in 88, and this is an 89 set. Joe Cotta had three. Joe Carter had a 30-30 year. Check that out. There you go, an 87. Joe Carter had a 30-30 year. Cal Daniels had one. Eric Davis, I thought, had a 30-30 year. Yeah, Eric Davis, there you go. Check that out. He had a 30-30 year in 87, 37 home runs, but 50 steals. Wow, he had 80 steals one year, so... Eric Davis had a 30-30 season in three 2020s. Mike Davis had a 2020. Andre Dawson. Dawson had several. Check this out. Dawson had several 2020 years. Never a 30-30. Kirk Gibson had several 2020 seasons. It looks like Kirk was never able to capture 30 home runs. He was dang close in 85. One home run shy of being a 30-30 player. Pedro Guerrero. Ricky. Ricky had a couple. Bo Jackson had one. Howard Johnson had a couple 30-30 years. Here, there you go. I knew Harold Johnson was always like a 30-30 kind of a guy. Jeffrey Leonard had one. Kevin McReynolds had one. There you go. Del Murphy, he had he had a 30-30 year. Murph had a 30-30 season in 83. That was the second of his two consecutive 
uh, world MVP years. It's interesting. There you go. Uh, you want to win the MVP? You have a 30-30 season or a couple 30-20-20 seasons. So in both years when Murph got the MVP, he at least went 20-20. Dwayne Murphy. Dwayne Murphy had one. Dave Parker. Dave Parker had two 2020 seasons. Kirby. Kirby had it one. Juan Samuel had one. Sandberg had one. Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt had two 2020 seasons. Daryl Strawberry. Straw was doing it every year. Check this out. Straw was doing uh, 2020 every year, but he had a 30 30 in 87. Straw was doing that every single year. Look at that. Alan Trammell had two. Andy Van Slyke had two so far. Because remember, this is from 88 stats. Devin White, Devon White, once. Dave Winfield did it twice. And then Robin Yount did it once. So that is your Ames 2020 set, but also included a couple 30-30 players and one 40-40 player in that set. So... There you have it. That's all I have to show you today. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget the trivia question. Remember, take a look at the description below for all the details. I uh, appreciate everybody watching. We appreciate the support. I'll try my best to support the other YouTubers out there. So please consider like, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz. Um, check back again on Sunday. Sunday we'll do the uh, trivia recap and see who wins the uh, cool cards for this past week like that. Derek Jeter up there in front of you now, all right? All right, thanks again for watching. I hope to see you again next week. Take care.